This is the week Michigan is divided, half the state green, half the state blue, because on Saturday, the 72nd renewal of the Michigan-Michigan state rivalry. The Wolverines lead the series with 45 victories against 21 losses. The last four years, these two men highlighted the rivalry, Rick Leach, the Michigan quarterback from Flint, and Kirk Gibson, the Michigan state receiver from Waterford, together now at Tiger Stadium to recall the last four years, beginning with 75 when Leach beat Gibson 16 to six. And I remember, I think it was either third and short or fourth and short right at the end where we tried the option play and got stopped, but spun out of it and just barely made it first yeah, down. Yeah, I remember that. They had you stopped, right. and you spun out of it and just barely made it. Was yeah. it fourth down right. or was it third? I think third? it was fourth down. It, it was close, Bell. and that was Yeah, that. the touchdown yeah, that, made a player that, two after that. That was the turning point of the game right there. Right. We always, all four yeah. years, we always, uh, regardless, I mean, uh, Michigan, for the most part, they always out outmanned us pretty much. And, but it doesn't matter when you get when you come up with a rivalry, rivalry like Michigan-Michigan State. You know, you're, you know, you're always going to have a good game, and I know Michigan never took us lightly, and uh, by any means, we would never take them lightly. Always a good game. Now, wait a minute. The next game is sophomores. It was 42 to 10. Yeah, but I think the main story in that game was Robbie Lytle, if you remember right. Uh, he had that 75-yard run right old. after that. Right. Then he right. had a long run off a fake punt. I think he had like 180 yards on 10 carries, so <laughs> when somebody has a day like that, they <laughs> tend to turn the tide. Yeah. Turn a close game around. The next year, 24-14, you scored the first touchdown of that game. Right. Eddie Smith hits you. Right. That was uh, that particular pass. Actually, uh, we thought they were in a different defense than they, than they turned out to be. And, uh, you know, uh, me and Eddie got the hook up pretty good, and uh, we complimented each other very well. And... He, he just had a feeling where I was going to go, and uh, just so happens that I went there, and they, they defensed as well, but he threw the, uh, the ball up high, and it was a perfect right. pass, you know, yeah. and I, there was just no way they could defense me. If a quarterback gets a hot hand, especially a guy that can throw, <clears throat> like Eddie Smith, uh, anybody, I'm sure, was worried when they played State. So especially with that Michigan State, too. Yeah. Right. And, you know, at... Uh, when you go when, on the road in the Big Ten, yeah, it's when, hard. You know, when it's you got tough. the fans, when we got the... 65, 70,000 fans there, and they got 5,000 there. You know, it, it makes a difference. It does? Oh, I mean, yeah. Like yeah. Ohio State. You don't hear anything, you know. That, <laughs> you say, where am I? Did everybody go home? <laughs> Did I do something? Did I do something wrong? Is there a flag down? <laughs> Last year, the frustrations ended for you, finally. Yeah, it did. And, you know, for the three years, it was that was very frustrating because, you know, there's nobody we wanted to beat more in Michigan. And, we prepared ourselves well, and like uh, Rick said, we had a, a great passing attack last year, and I'm sure they prepared well for us, but it's just the day that we were, we had, I think, 300 and some yeah. yards rushing and 300 and some passing. We had great balance, and they'd stop one thing, we'd go to another, and... Uh, Eddie Smith was near perfect. You know, yeah, our game, our, game yeah. our game plan just worked out uh, exactly like we hoped it would. What are the chances for State this year? Uh, you know, Michigan, they, they've always got a good defense. they got a great defense back. And uh, I think uh, Michigan State's got a good passing attack this year, and they got a good running attack. they got good balance. Uh, you know, I, I think it's going to be a if, – if, if we can move the ball against them, you know, I, I think we'll stand a chance. I, I'm sure it'll be a close game. You know, I wish I was there, and I wish Rick was on the other <laughs> side because, there's, you know, there was nothing like competing against uh, Michigan. All right, I won't even ask you who you picked. That's obvious. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. But you two finally do get together, perhaps here in Tiger Stadium one day soon. Well, hopefully. Uh, like Rick said, really, he wasn't one of my better friends when we used to play against each other. Not that I didn't, I, not that I knew him. I didn't know him at all, but we were just competing against e each other. And, uh, you know, I'm a great competitor, and he's a great competitor. And... You know, when he was on the other side, I was yelling, get get him, because he was good. And I'm, and I'm and sure you? they were yelling the same thing as me. The same thing. Get that boy. <laughs> now we know we just both got a lot of work that we got to do, but both of us, like you said, are competitors. We're going to do the best we can to get here, and I'm sure uh, with enough hard work and dedication pretty quick, we're going to be here. You know, I know he's a winner, and I'm a winner, I think, and I hope that someday we can end up in the same outfield or on the same team. and. You know, hopefully, uh, be it'd, be, it'd be great to win a World Series. I think that's yes. what we're looking at, aren't yeah. we? It'd be great to have those two on the same team, too, wouldn't it, Coach? Well, they're wasting their time playing baseball. They should be playing football on the same team. Some memories <laughs> of those last four years? Well, the last four, every Michigan-Michigan State game's been a 
you know, a great Class A guy. The first year that I came to Michigan in 69, you know, we, we won the big game against Ohio State and went to the Rose Bowl, but we, we lost to Michigan State, and then we ran off eight straight victories on them, you know, before we lost last year. And, uh, but all of them have been pretty close games. Other than that 42-10 to 10 game, we were pretty much dominant, but they were sort of a decimated team at that time uh, coming off that probation, and I think a couple of their guys were not allowed to play and things like that. Well, as those two pointed out, too, Robbie Lytle had a great game. And I said yeah. you'd like to have him back, and you did have him back. We did Saturday. have him back, yeah. Rob was on the bench in the California game with us, yeah. I turned around, there he was. He didn't have a uniform on, I'd have thrown him in there. <laughs> Get pressed. <laughs> But it has been a good series and, uh, and an important series to the state. Well, it's important in the conference, too, because, um, you know, both of us have ambitions to win the title. And uh, along with Ohio State and Purdue, uh, this is going to be uh, the first really big key Big Ten game. And uh, the team that comes out on top in this one is going to have a heck of a shot. All right, let's get more specific about that game then in our next segment when Michigan Replay continues.